Hey guys, um, here is the Citrus Trees and Containers update. Uh, it's June 2023, specifically June 15th, 2023. Um, here is my small patio with all my citrus trees right here. So this is a monthly update on all the citrus trees growing containers. And um, we do have a few new things this month and a few things changing. So um, the first tree that I'm going to talk about is the uh, pink lemonade tree. So this one's basically staying the same. In previous updates, it did have fruit on it, but those fruit did end up falling off, though. But we do have um, a tad bit more right there, but they're probably going to fall off. So I'm not really counting on this one holding fruit, but we do know that it can flower, which is nice. And it also is holding these shoots, and these uh, shoots are also starting to um, push out some new buds, so that's pretty nice. And uh, currently it's still in its old container, but I figured once we head into next um, next January-ish or so, I'll go ahead and transplant that into a larger 24-inch container, just like the rest of these citrus trees. Alright, so this is the new change. So you notice before, this is a new plant right here. Well, I ended up switching out this, um, I ended up switching this tree into a Mexican key lime tree for the, um, Midnight Valencia Orange, mainly because, um, the issue that I have with this tree is that it is a semi-dwarf tree. Now, it is semi, semi-dwarf, but the only problem is that, um, semi-dwarf trees can get large, and if you know, this is a patio, I don't have space for a, um, regular tree, let alone orange tree, and this can get pretty big. And mainly because I like oranges and all, but um, I already have the Moro Blood Orange, which I'll show you in a bit. But you can see this Midnight Valencia Orange is fruiting. It has fruit, actually, but they're probably going to fall off. This tree is pretty small, let alone it's only, let's see, usually they said the date's right there. This tree is barely two year, almost two years old. So it's not even two years old yet, so... The fact that it has fruit on it is pretty amazing. It's barely even turning two. So um, I might end up selling this one um, later on, so I'll see about that. But in the meantime, replacing the Midnight Valencia Orange is the Mexican Key Lime. So yeah, I got this one at Lowe's, and um, you can see it's growing nicely. I transplanted it into a large 24-inch pot just yesterday, actually. and. Um, you can see it's doing very well. New shoots, new growth. I am going to be fertilizing um, all these trees, and I'll show you this fertilizer because I do get questions on the fertilizer. Next tree is the Kishu Mandarin tree. Now, this tree is also two years old, and you can see it is nice. So, previously on several updates, this had multiple uh, fruit on it, although, of course, now as it's slowly maturing, it dropped a lot of its fruit, and it's only currently holding like five fruits, but you can see how large they have gotten after a while. You can see, sorry if my phone struggles to capture it, but you can see right there, three right there, four, and there's another one hiding somewhere back there. Um, but yeah, and I also got a question about um, spider mites. Now, this mansion tree... Believe it or not, um, this, this mandarin tree got spider mites mainly on its new leaves right here. And um, what I ended up having to do is cutting off those leaves infect infested with spider mites and just topping off the branches so they can branch out a little more so uh, it's not just one long huge branch. So this one's growing very nicely and we do have some issues with curling but that should be resolved soon. But, um, yeah, uh, five whole fruits on this Kishu Mandarin, and I'm very interested to try this in December once they're ripe, um, but yeah, 
So moving on, we have the Meyer lemon. Now I've encountered an issue with the Meyer lemon, and that's this is mainly because it has dropped a lot of its uh, young fruit, as you can see. Um, dropped a lot of it, turned yellow, fell off. Uh, it's still holding these two large lemons. You can see this one's probably gonna be ready to harvest in a month or two, just looking at it, and the other one, uh, same goes for the other one. But um, as you can see, it's flowering again, which is nice. And uh, it's it's holding a few Meyer lemons on there. It has that one right there still. And a couple more on it, though. But uh, there's a good chance that it might drop those. Not sure. But this year, it did grow a lot more leaves, which is nice. So I'm happy about that at least it's growing leaves now so I'll have maybe a little bit more energy to produce more fruit now that's flowering again so um yeah but it was just unfortunate that I dropped all that but it could be the fertilizer as well so uh, i'll get more into that moving on we have our moral blood orange and uh, same old same old again as last previous episodes i was still waiting for these little uh, nodes to sprout. They haven't sprouted yet, so I'll probably add another dose of fertilizer to really start it or to really get it going. But um, yeah, still in the same pot. Nothing much going on with that. Um, yeah. And next we have another Meyer lemon. Now this one hasn't been having that issue, although it's been dropping its smaller ones, which is nice, or which is not nice, but. Um, it's nice in a way where it's keeping its larger ones now. You can see the difference how this Meyer lemon is holding its fruit. Look how big that one is right there, and it's flowering as well. And um, you can see comparing that fruit to this one, that fruit is staying the same while this one is actually growing on this one. So it actually has a couple, I, I'll estimate like 10 at least, sitting on this one. So pretty happy and it's also flowering but the thing with this plant is that I have not see it seen it um, sprout any new leaves so um, that's what I find strange this one sprouts a lot of fruit but not as many leaves while this one sprouts a lot of fruit but not uh, as many leaves so yeah I find that interesting and if you're curious right here I have a little pineapple plant that I got at Home Depot I thought it was interesting and figured I should try that out. So it looks nice. I like it. And um, another update is that I actually got a third Meyer lemon tree. I know I'm crazy about lemons. Um, this one I got at Walmart, just like um, that Meyer lemon tree right there, for $20. And um, I just replanted it this month into a bigger container. And I'm just going to let it do its own thing. I'm not going to let it. Uh, really maybe produce fruit this year mainly let's let it grow and yeah and as you could tell there's a new patio arrangement I just um, spent a little money on the patio and uh, went ahead and got new um, new places to hold plants so you can see right there whole new section and even uh, patio lights which is nice so this gets all nice and lighted up, but um, I don't really know what I'm going to do with that um, Midnight Valencia orange tree, but uh, we'll see what will happen with it. Most likely, I'm going to sell it to someone and uh, put the money towards the other citrus trees over here since I already have a lot. But um, I also got questions about fertilizer. What fertilizers do I use? Um, I usually use, uh, I believe it's called Virgo. You can find it at Home Depot. It's a citrus and avocado fertilizer. It's usually um, bead pellets, and you just put it in the dirt or mix it in with water, and then water your plants, and then it'll make them sprout uh, new leaves and stuff. Or I also use a liquid fertilizer, so I'll actually get them out right now to show. Alright, so I went ahead and got the fertilizer, so this is the one I mainly use. Um, this stuff looks good, it's just beads and everything, you just sprinkle them on the plant, and they slowly release the fertilizer into the soil. So I really, um, 
I really like this one. This one does give you results. Something new that I'm also going to be trying is the citrus uh, nutritional spray, mainly because uh, some of the leaves on here are a little more lighter than they probably should be. They should be a little more darker. So I'll probably be mixing in this with the water when I water these as well. So, um, yeah, I got this at Home Depot as well. So, uh, really nice fertilizer. It's just a little bit of fertilizer and um, sunlight, and your citrus trees will, will grow and fruit. It just, has to, it just takes a lot of time. Um, also, with the patio, uh, I got roses as well. Just planted those yesterday. Um, a, lo a little bit of cussing, trying to transplant those, but it worked out. A little bit of cuts on my hands, but um, doesn't hurt. And uh, yeah, more roses. Um, we also have dragon fruit. I might make a video on planting those. Um, that will be plant. I'll be planting those at my grandparents' house, actually. So we'll probably do a short series on that as well. Um, I will be away for three weeks from here, so I won't be able to tend to all these plants for the next three weeks, but uh, I'll have someone to water them, so. Um, yeah, so this is Citrus Trees Growing Containers. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, uh, go ahead and let me know, and I'll be happy to respond to you guys. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.